Hey everybody, it's DJ yet again back with Temple Music Academy and Music Teacher Review Stuff. So, funny thing happens when you ask your Nightwish Army friends, I think we're all friends, right? Or you ask your YouTube channel friends and we're family, yeah, we're friends and family, is a cool thing. When you ask them for something epic and they answer with a band called Epic. Uh, okay, so I guess we have to assume that Epic uh, is epic, is the thing. So basically what we're at is we got a band called Epica. It's going to be live at uh, Zenith. And the song is called, oh my goodness, I already forget what the song is called. What, what's it, oh yeah, Consigned to Oblivion. So Consigned to Oblivion live at Zenith, which is going to be wicked live. This came up so many different times again that I had to actually use the specific version that was requested. No choice. I got some up here on Epica again. So... Epica is a Dutch symphonic metal band founded by guitarist Mark Janssen, I, I assume, maybe it's just Janssen, after his departure from After Forever, formed as a symphonic metal band with gothic tendencies, Epica later incorporated strong death metal influences. Starting from their third album, even progressive metal attitudes became more evident. So they, they started as a symphonic band and then introduced gothic tendencies and death metal influences, this excites me. Perhaps this is why you guys told me to check them out, which is pretty dope. So you guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, click the bell, do the thing. Come follow us on Instagram. Come do everything you guys can to help us grow these channels because it's just super fun getting a chance to do this every week and show you guys how much I love music and love talking about things. I, I absolutely love this. Okay, so this is going to be... This is just going to be sick. I'm super pumped about this one. A uh, little disclaimer, I didn't know it needed to be said, but I like to talk about this music stuff. So often I will pause this video so we can talk about the things that I'm super enthralled by in the moment. Uh, this is not meant to annoy people, but I just thought I would say I stop a lot because it's who I am, guys. Let's watch this. I got my headphones right here. I got Epica right there, and I got you guys right there. Music Teacher Reacts, Epica live at Zenith. The last one for tonight, but you know we always come back to Paris, because we love Paris. Last one for tonight, everybody you know the drill, open up in the middle to create the wall of epic. The wall of epic, is that what you said? Very cool. Oh, the drum sounds so good already. I'm a fan. Oh yeah, that looks good. Later on, I'll count down from three before we go, all right? First hold! 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 Three, two, one! Death metal. Okay, rewinding that because I got distracted by how sick she sounded and then the crowd was already responding to her with all the words and stuff. Oh, buddy. Ah.
likes to sit up in that operatic register, right, and let her let the notes she's doing sound like this. Albania, yeah. That's really, really cool to do that under a syncopated rhythm, or sorry, over a syncopated rhythm like that. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. Very cool. I, I'm sorry, I was not expecting this. So I'm a little, a little taken back. <laughs> Resolution. Work that ride, dude. You guys hear that backing track of like a choir, like a whole choir? Let me just rewind a little bit here. I just say selfishly i would love to play guitar in a band like this because it looks super fun uh epica holler at your boy you ever need someone to back you up holler at your boy eh? Adjusting the microphone setting. Good breakdown for the crowd chant. <laughs> really? <laughs> a lot of times they need these bre these breaths went from a compositional standpoint to give the crowd a chance for your ears to accept what you're hearing. I know that sounds really weird, but it's kind of like the metaphor I've used before with students is it's kind of like when you have sushi at a restaurant and they put that that ginger stuff on the plate so that you can clean cleanse your palate and appreciate the full flavor and the full taste of something else. And that gives your ear a chance to digest audibly everything you just heard and accept the transition into a new part. And so far, these guys are right on point. I hear that. The digga 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 digga. Pretty cool, man. This drummer is something else. I dig this drummer a lot. Oh, yeah, you guys are wrong. Thank you so much for this fantastic evening. I love this drummer. I love the drummers a lot. I love this drummer. Pretty 
control. Very cool. Is that both guitar play? Yeah, okay. I asked if it was both guitar players doing those big, those big low growls because I could hear two different pitch, uh, I detected two different pitches being sung at the same time or being growled at the same time. And I noticed the keyboard player was doing some other screams earlier when the, the vocalist held the microphone to him. That's a cool choice. What's up with this keyboard guy just like riding a scooter around? It's like his whole thing's like a like a like a Segway. That's the term for it. I love this guy. He just you know doing a fitness journey, riding around everywhere. Got some acrobatics going on. I love that stuff. <laughs> Love it. No, rewind. Coolest thing I've heard all afternoon. Oh, I love this. Call me stuff. Dun, 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 dun. he's getting in shape while he's playing I don't know. i'm just gonna spin my keyboard and go for a jog that's what i'm gonna do guys and you guys keep doing your thing i'll keep doing I want that fast part to come back again.
I just want to point out because I know it looks cool, but um, on a serious note, the pyro thing is amazing, but it is so bloody dangerous. Years ago, my band shot a video involving a lot of fire and stuff like that, and like the slightest misstep, it was, I yeah, I remember going, "What's that burning smell?" Going, "Oh, my my hair's on fire." <laughs> it was pretty sketch, man, and so deceptive. Like if you're in the front row, I bet you, I bet you, you're feeling that heat like a son of a gun. <laughs> Different register now. Oh my god, yes, please. Yes, please. You hear that layer? She went up and everybody went here, and then the choir underneath it? Chris, like this pyramid? Oh. Cheer louder. Ever since I figured out how to uh, screen record properly that I can do the rewinds, I just want to keep showing everything. Oh, I didn't go back far enough. There's this one we hear her basically the sound is like this. Ah, 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 ah. Classical like vocalization 101. And it's just knocks you in the nether regions. <laughs> Okay, so it's so different compositionally from the other symphonic metal bands that I've looked at on this channel. That's what I like. I like that in the sense it's like it's like classical music is still Bach and Beethoven, but both of them sound so fundamentally different to each other from compositional standpoints. And these guys did that too. That's neat. I was kind of like, oh yeah, whatever, in the beginning, I'll be honest. I was kind of like, yeah, sure, it's pretty pretty straightforward what they're doing. But then when they started to separate and, and utilize that vocalist and her crazy awesome sounds that she can get, it made it way cooler for me. Way cooler. The guitar player was neat. The growler was cool. It reminisces me a lot, a lot of Opeth style. That kind of growl, which is really popular in European countries. The drummer is a standout person to me. That was crazy. The keyboardist was fun to watch. Absolutely very fun to watch. And the background tracks that they're using. Man, God, I'm a sucker for those cool, like, choir, oomph, like, multi-layered vocal parts. And then the pyramid I was explaining on top where she she sits on top. So I wonder if this is this is too much information. Let me grab this guitar here. So one of the things that they're doing that's super sick is if I play a chord here, if I play just a straight up chord like that, I can isolate one note of the chord. It's really made out of three notes. Something like that, right? And that's why I can duplicate it wherever I want. It's still only built up of three different notes. So one of the things they're doing vocally is she's stacking things on top where you take all the important notes of this chord. And she'll sing do, 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 or something like this. Maybe she's the high at a register of some kind. And then the rest of the band will come in. Or they'll use that choir thing. You'll go from this to a backing track of this one and this one, giving you that kind of a sound of vocalists doing it. Which is the really just 
all in all, it's a fantastic, not trick, that's the wrong word, but it's a fantastic addition of substance to whatever it is that you are doing. It's interesting. I'm not super familiar with the symphonic metal world at all. Maybe I'll do a video talking about how, like, my path through the metal world. Maybe is that something you guys would like to see? Let me know in the comments. But I would love to talk about like my path, how I got to the kind of music that I like to listen to now and things like that. For Epica fans out there, this was apparently one that was super important. And because I'm so new to Epica, I'd like to hear why. When we did the other videos of other bands and I reacted to important ones to you guys, like, like as fans go scale wise, it's, it's super, super important to the fans of that and it came across as like hey you should really listen to this song this is one of the fundamental and quintessential reasons why the band is so badass or whatever and this came across as it was one i would like to hear the explanation why please let me know in the comments what's going on with this band as always guys like comment subscribe keep supporting the channel i love you guys for that it's just been it's like making new friends i know it's cheesy but it's just been so much fun fire me emails i read every single email and i try my best to respond to every single one guys this has been the temple music academy with music teacher reacts i love you all so much and as always watch it go